So the main uh, technical challenges that we have uh, with recyclates is to how to guarantee the safety and the quality of these recyclates. Uh, what we have here at the University of Eastern Finland is a world-class infrastructure based on mass spectrometry, as, as we see here uh, behind, on which we can do a very detailed analysis of different compounds that are present both in the feedstock material as well as then in the upgraded recyclates. So in that sense, what we can do is this, we can guarantee the safety and the quality of these recyclates. And uh, considering uh, what are the uh, substances that are typically causing the issues are the substances of concern, substances of very high concern, and then the non-intentionally added substances that are present in the, in the plastic waste stream. So what we can do with our devices is we can do a very detailed analysis what is present in the, in the plastic waste. And also the second approach that we have here at the University of Eastern Finland is to how to do the upgrading of the plastic waste stream. There are several uh, substances that have, for example, the prominated flame retardants that have been banned uh, from the use, but they are still present in the recycled plastic waste stream. So what we are developing here is new technologies, uh, how to deprominate these plastic waste streams and how to upgrade the quality and safety of the recycled plastics. So one of the aspects that we are developing here at the University of Eastern Finland is uh, different types of depromination technologies, how to remove prominated flame returns from the plastic waste uh, stream. So our approach is that once you can measure something and characterize something, then you can also find tools to improve that one. So for that one, uh, this sort of very high quality, high resolution mass spectrometry gives the best uh, possible tools to identify different compounds and also give suggestions how to remove them. And, and also we can verify how effective our processes for removing these compounds are. So for the medium term, uh, our expectation is that uh, with these developed deprimination technolo uh, technologies, we can remove uh, especially these substances that are already been banned uh, from the use from the uh, waste stream, uh, so that we can really upgrade uh, the use of these plastics in uh, in new products and give a second life for the for these uh, recycled plastics.